Hello, this is a demonstration of ColCalc Pro. ColCalc Pro was designed as a simple tool for pilots to calculate cold temperature altitude corrections. When you launch the program, you'll notice that it is oriented in landscape mode. This is because the graphics user interface, or GUI, was designed to show the actual profile of your aircraft. What differs between ColCalc Pro and ColCalc MDA which is its sister app, is the fact that this has many more fields in addition to the standard elevation and minimum descent altitude as found in Cold Calc MDA, we have now incorporated a final approach fix, a mist approach, and even a f uh, an FPA or a, a flight path angle field. To demonstrate how this works, all one does is types in the field elevation as per your approach chart. We'll put in 1200 as a FAF. The MDA in this case will be, let's say we'll make it a precision approach, so 200 feet above ground. The missed approach is, uh, let's say, 3000. And a flight path angle of, let's say, 3.5. All that's required here is the digits 3, 1, the decimal, the negative number, as well as the degree symbol will all be put in there automatically. When you select the background screen, it will release the keyboard and you now have the information available to you that you require for the approach. In this case, the elevation is 250 feet, so the, the uh, elevation of the aerodrome is indicated here, 250 above sea level. The FAF is 1,200 feet above sea level, which in this case is 950 feet height above aerodrome. All these are pre-calculated for you and is depicted right on the screen. In addition to the FAF crossing, you have yellow digits on top of the fields. The yellow digits are your correction to be applied to the fields that you've entered. So in this case, 1,200 feet will require a 52 foot addition yielding a 1,252 foot final approach fix crossing at a temperature of zero degrees Celsius. Once you receive the ATIS and implement the temperature, you merely slide down the scale until you achieve, uh, excuse me, until you achieve your temperature, in this case, minus 21 degrees. So your 1,200 FAF is now 1,337 feet because you had to add 137 feet for your 21 degree uh, temperature correction. You'll notice that the 3.1 has also added a 0.4 on your slope for the flight path angle, now making it 3.5. The MDA is 479, and your 396 is added to your 3000, yielding a 3396 feet missed approach. Having it displayed in this method, the pilot can readily see what is expected of him for this particular approach with this given temperature. Now you also have a feature here which will show you a display similar to a McDo. What this does is it enables several fields to be um, looked at as well as more fields to be added as versions of this program become available. In this case, we have the typical disclaimer. The app is for reference purposes only. You should always cross check this with your uh, airline or government agency publication. Uh, the instructions on how to run the, uh, the program, the uh, app, uh, as well as the legend what the various fonts uh, mean. And a little bit about the program, uh, what version you're using and with regards to who programmed it, etc. And you can always go back right here to the final uh, uh, display. Now this uh, program, uh, Al, uh, Cold Calc Pro, also has error checking in it. For example, if the MDA was inadvertently, instead of 450, um, was entered as, for example, 150, as soon as you hit the back screen, an error would pop up telling you that the MDA must be greater than the elevation. You can release this, and if you ignore it, you will once again get the error if you attempt to modify the temperature. 
if you put in the equal elevation, you'll also get an error, but this time the error states that it cannot equal the elevation. All the fields have error checking in them. That's basically how ColCalc Pro functions. It is available on the App Store. And I'm going to give you a slight preview of version 2. ColCalc version 2 is the same as the one you just saw with the addition of a few little things. First of all, as you can see, it now has a procedure turn incorporated into it. In addition uh, to this, it's got some other features which I will now demonstrate. In this case, we'll type in an elevation. We'll type in a procedure turn. And a final approach fix. And an MDA. Next approach. And a flight path angle. Now when you put the temperature in via the slider, in addition to the other fields, you now have a procedure turn correction. That's one of the improvements. The other improvement is we have added these cursors at either side of the slider. These cursors will allow you to increase or decrease the temperature by one degree increments. This is very useful, especially if you're on approach and it's a little bumpy and you want to modify this to minus 19 and you let your finger go and it goes back to 18. It's a little easier to go in single increments rather than trying to move the slider manually. Another feature we've incorporated in the uh, version 2 is the mist approach altitude. Although the mist approach altitude is incorporated in Cold Calc Pro, we have incorporated a feature which has been requested by several pilots. In a controlled environment, it's very possible for air traffic control to advise you that on the missed approach, the instructions are to fly the published non-corrected missed approach altitude because you're in radar contact and they want you to maintain the 2,500 feet. Because the application is designed for visual reference and you can see what altitudes to fly. Instead of getting confused with this and having to look back up to the 2500, all you have to do is click on the missed approach field. This will put up a lock and show you in red letters with a black background that this is the altitude to fly in the event of a missed approach as per ATC instructions. If the temperature is modified, the 3000, uh, sorry, the 2500 is not modified, but if you remove the lock, you'll notice that it is. This version has been uh, submitted to Apple for the um, App Store. It usually takes about three weeks, so I estimate this to be available uh, by the first week of December, uh, if not sooner, on the App Store. Of course, anyone buying Cold Calc Pro at this time gets a free upgrade to this version 2. I hope you enjoyed the little demonstration and I hope it clarified what the purpose and ease of use ColCalc Pro is. We are pilots designing aviation apps for pilots like you. Please let us know if there's anything you would like to see enhanced in our current line of aviation products or if there's anything you'd like to see that we have not yet put up in our line of uh, aviation tools. You can contact us by emailing coldcalc at rsvp.ca.